G'day guys, Chewy here and welcome back to some more coverage of Warlords of Drona, where today we're going to be looking at the Warrior class and doing a little bit of an update for 6.1 to let you know what's changed and really to talk about what we're rolling with since the changes. So let's start off Warrior in general. So first of all, the ability of Execute has actually had a damage decrease of around 11.4%, so there has been a bit of a nerf there on the Execute, um, which if anyone's played in the last patch, the, the Arms Warrior seemed to have some nasty nasty crits on that bad boy but anyway that has been nerfed another thing is in general the shield barrier now absorbs 24.4 percent more than what it normally does also with thunder's clap which is an ability used by arms and protection the snare effect actually lasts for 10 seconds now which is actually up from eight but whilst in pvp it only goes up to six seconds as for a bit more specific in the classes, the only other major area that changed is the protection. Um, in that one you have an improved defensive stance, which now also increases your armor up by 10% up from 5. So there has been a buff to the armor for the protection class, but definitely a nerf on the general ability of Execute. I must let you know there is a tier 17 4 piece ability, um, which does have a set bonus. doesn't really affect PvP, but basically it... Um, it allows you to regenerate rage whenever you use like Colossus Smash. That's actually been nerfed down to 20. Not a PvP orientated thing, but just lets you know that was probably the other major change. Other than that, guys, look, there's no other serious changes to the um, to the Warrior class. Other than that, pretty much the rest of the abilities haven't had any major rework or anything else that the consistency in terms of um, the talent leveling, which they did as well. So what it appears to be is a lot of the other classes sort of just got brought into line and, and a little bit more fairer. But in terms of, of the warrior, um, I think the only major things that change with the, the talents is uh, just a couple of minor things like, you know, like the avatar lasts 20 seconds, um, but it's up with a 1.5 minute cooldown. Um, and obviously previous to that it was in a different timing. Second Wind I think also had a slight change which basically makes its leech 25% um, so uh, with that ability there I don't normally spec it for PvP but basically a Second Wind has a, an increased amount of leech. Um, other than that there is Siege Breaker which has had a change as well um, so basically with Siege Breaker uh, for an Arms and Fury ability the knockback distance is increased and I think in Slam for the Arms, Warrior has had a damage increase by 43%. So there has been some buffs definitely in some single abilities there. But all in all, nothing too major. Um, definitely a bit more leveling out with the Warrior. Some great little extra things if you're going for the second win. Personally, um, I just I pretty much just go straight for the regeneration because it just seems a lot more handy to have that than any of the other abilities. Um, and like I said, some definitely changes there if you wanted to go that way for the knockback. I don't usually do the Siege Breaker, so I still stick with the Anger Management, getting more times to cast some of my other abilities. Other than that, guys, look, I'm not doing anything major in terms of changing the way I play my Fury Warrior. Pretty much keeping the same talent tree, which I normally do. Um, and yeah, look, look, it's, it's nothing too major for the Warrior, um, other than a couple little tweaks here and there, but definitely a, definitely a bit of a nerf on our Execute, but hey... Enough talking about it, let's jump into a little bit of 3's action with the Warrior and check him out and show you what he's like in 6.1. Let's check this out guys. Alright guys, a quick 3's match is a perfect way to test out how the Warrior is still going. So for the combo that we're going for, it's a Shaman, uh, it's, well I guess it's a Jungle Cleave combo just about, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. A Hunter, a Warrior and a Shaman. Uh, we're up against a similar build but it's a Shaman Warrior and a Lock. So I guess uh, the I guess the major focus is I think we'd want to melt the shaman. Um, that probably be the main target in this sort of lineup. And I, I guess the other thing to this video is just to show how um, the similar build I'm using and sort of changes with the experience um, in the arena. Now I do note that we have had a bit of a nerf in our execute. It doesn't definitely mean we're not as effective as anymore. It probably just brought us a little bit more realistic because there's been, you know, I, I mean, everyone's had tons of those executes probably crit before and they're just enormous, absolutely enormous. So I guess in the pretense of this, we really want to be focusing a lot of our slamming capabilities on that Restoration Shaman. So as usual, because I'm the warrior, I think I ran around here to do a little bit of a lap in a circle just to bait their warrior off the rest of the characters. And I think, I think actually we, we said we're going to melt the lock now that I'm thinking about it. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was the lock. So I've gone for the straight charging, popping off all my major cooldowns. And the great thing about this is those cooldowns will protect me from that warrior doing too much damage. Um, I do have the blade storm ready and, oh look at that, we've almost got the warlock critical. The warlock is critical. At that point I probably should have um, 
a, a stop blade storm and snuck in and execute. I probably could have finished it right then and there, but not to matter, guys. We'll just keep up that consistent pressure on that warlock there. And you can see there, even though we get, we've got an execute in there just then, and still doing significant damage. Here it comes. Game ender, game ender. Oh, damn it. You know that shaman. If, if only we had a good CC on him back then, we'd probably two opportunities we missed to melt in that warlock. But all we need to do is really get him down. Oh, the shaman is caught in a frost trap, which is just what we need. Uh, we're charging in there. We're applying as much. We're beautiful little interrupt there, guys. And we're getting him down the critical. We've got some procs ready. Here comes an execute. Come on, a storm bolt for the stun. Shaman is getting the heels up, unfortunately. But he's not able to keep up with the pressure of that blade storm. I mean, you know, it just basically makes that, makes that fear ineffective. We've got some, some definite, definite stockpile of rage to spend. Um, so here it comes. We're starting to pummel down the lock. Um, we've broken early from the the horrify, and we're trying to sneak in there for a charge. Oh, we've got we've got our stormbolt ready, guys. So stormbolt execot finisher, and here it is, bang dead. And that's pretty much it, guys. So still just as effective. Um, obviously, their poor little shaman was turned into a frog. Wasn't able to support his characters in that instance. And here we are, just finishing off the rest of the uh, the arms warrior there. Just nailing him down, trying to slow him as much as I can because I don't want him nailing out our healer and then being in, being in a standoff match because it's definitely what we don't want. Um, but it's good we're able to get some break uh, from him, peeling him off our healer is the key here, opening up with a storm bolt, which is beautiful just to keep that warrior way off, way off our shaman. And all we've got to do is finish these guys off and it's pretty much the game. So here comes the ender on the uh, warrior while he's trying to do a blade storm against me. Finish off with an execute. Back onto the chamois, and there we have it. Another quick victory in the threes. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and a bit, bit of a chat about the different skill set change with the warrior. And more importantly, just a showcase to show that execute still just as effective, even with a nerf. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.